Hey, this is Greg, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to precisely align text within Canva. So in other words, how do you get this blue bounding box to boom, just snap around your text with no white space? And then what are the other couple of little tricks you can use to precisely align text under a shape within Canva, within some other amount of space within Canva? How do we do it? There's some simple tricks. I'm going to teach them all to you here. So let's dive in. Okay, this video was inspired by one of my students in my Canva class, Lilac, who here is asking about that white space that you can have around your text, that white space so the bounding box doesn't quite conform to the text. So thanks, Lilac, for the question. If anyone watching wants to learn about my Canva course, I'll just drop in a link in the description below. But let's move forward now and give Lilac an answer and give everyone some helpful strategies for aligning text in Canva. So first of all, Lilac asks, what am I doing wrong? Well, you're not doing anything wrong. Whenever any of us work in new software, this is just a normal workflow. You're gonna struggle with some things at first while looking for that optimal strategy, those optimal workflow tips that help you save time. And so that's just normal. But as we learn, we do wanna be on the lookout for those tips, those things that are gonna save us time. And there are definitely a few of those tips which I'm gonna go over now on aligning text in Canva. Okay, first let's just review the basics, which you probably already know. And that is when you're resizing a text box in Canva, of course you have to click on it to select it. And then you have these middle handles and you have quarter hand, corner handles. Okay, so the basics, middle handles are resizing your text box itself. So if you drag this in far enough, it's gonna go to multiple lines. And if you drag it out, you're starting to get this white space. And this white space before and after the text is what, uh, Lilac was asking about with their question, like when you have this, this can be problematic when lining something underneath something else. Uh, and also your alignment's gonna matter. We're gonna talk about this, this is center aligned. But so the basics, you drag these middle handles to resize the text box itself. And then when you're dragging the corner handles, then you're actually making the text bigger or smaller. Okay, so those are the basics. Now let's get into the tips uh, for aligning text. And the scenario we're talking about is imagine you wanted this text to perfectly span the distance underneath here, this rectangle, and perfectly align with this rectangle. So let's go over the tips that are gonna be helpful in doing this. Okay, tip one, snapping this blue bounding box to just the confines of the text. Right now we have all this white space around it. We really want this to just be in closer to the text because that's gonna be more helpful when we're precisely aligning under something like this. So you can drag in from the center, but then what happens is you're really trying to be precise and you spend a little time where, oops, you went too far. Oops, there, we don't wanna go to two lines. Oh, so you spend this time going back and forth and you can zoom in and make it so you can be a little bit more precise, but here's a much easier way to do it. And this is a trick I just learned. So don't worry about it if you didn't know this one yet. That's why we're here in this video giving you these tips. So you can just go to the left one or the right center bounding box and all you do is just click on it, double click on it, and look at how it just snaps in. So again, I can do that from the right or left side. You have all this white space, but you just double click on it and it snaps in and then your bounding box is precisely around just the text, perfectly sized, so you get rid of all that white, sp white space. So that is tip one, and that is this double click on the right or left of these center uh, points here, and you can get this bounding box to snap in and combine just to the text. Okay, tip two, and tip two is understanding the relationship between the text alignment option you have selected and letter spacing. Because now that we've snapped in this bounding box, you may think, hey, we can just drag this up, we can have it right below there, and you can drag out the opposite corner, get it underneath there, and it does work in the example I just did, but if I go under letter spacing, so let me go in here under letter spacing, we'll see that my letter spacing is set to zero. Well, that's not always gonna be the case. Sometimes you are gonna want letter spacing. And so if suddenly, if I drag up this letter spacing now, of course, this whole thing is getting bigger. But if I did the same trick now where I go to a snap to the left edge and then I resize down and snap to the other edge, now if I zoom in here, let me just zoom in, We'll see, that, we'll see that this Y here is not precisely under this left edge. And I'll drag out a guide just to show you what I mean so we can see it a little bit better. You see that the way that this Y is actually inset now because what happens with letter spacing, this option here, is letter spacing is applied differently depending on what alignment option you have set. So if I drag letter spacing all the way down now and I were to have it at zero, and then I drag this over, when it snaps to that edge, yes, the Y is really gonna be at that edge, but then as I increase that letter spacing, 
So if I come back under my letter spacing and I start to drag it up, we'll see that the letter spacing is getting applied on both sides of that Y. So now if I snap to the left edge, it's actually inset a little bit. Now sometimes you might want something aligned where it's inset like this, but if you want to precisely align it exactly under the edge, you have to understand how this relationship works. It applies uh, differently depending on how this alignment is set. For example, if I suddenly come in here and I change this to left alignment, look at that. Even though we have letter spacing, this Y is now applied all the way over towards the edge and it'll snap into position and all the spacing is getting applied to the right side because we have it left aligned, meaning it's going to align totally to the left and then all that letter spacing is getting applied after that. So this is tip two. Uh, make sure you right or left align your text when you are really trying to do this precise spacing because then you'll be able to come in here and even when you have letter spacing you're going to be able to snap to that edge and it really is going to be underneath that edge if you have it center aligned so if i switch this to center aligned then suddenly it's not because that letter spacing is being applied on both the left and right side of that letter so this tip number two is just understanding that your letter spacing and your alignment are related and so use left or right alignment when you're really trying to precisely align that. Now, tip three is pretty much where do you go from here once you have it left aligned or right aligned? Then if you have it left aligned, you just wanna grab the opposite edge, the opposite edge. So in other words, this is anchored here and I have it left aligned. So now I wanna align from the opposite side. And as I do that, you'll notice that even though this is changing in size, I can drag all the way in uh, excuse me, I accidentally grabbed the center. I can grab all the way in with this top one. And even though that Y is getting smaller and smaller, you'll notice how it's never moving off that line. It's never moving off that line because we have it left aligned. Letter spacing doesn't matter. It's always going to be aligned with that edge. And then I can just watch this T and see where it positions uh, in relationship to where I want it to finish on the opposite side. So tip three is just drag out from the opposite side of where you have it aligned and anchored and then just zoom in or use guides as needed for extra re visual references to get this properly aligned. So if I know I want it to be right underneath this and I just want another uh, extra uh, visual reference, I can just click and drag on my rulers here. And if you're not seeing these rulers, all you have to do is come under file here and you have these show rulers and guides, or you can use shift R on your keyboard. That'll bring up these rulers, and then you can just click on any one you want and drag out a guide. And now, as I'm resizing, I can come in here and I can really precisely see when it reaches that blue line. And if I need even more help, then I can zoom in. So again, tip three is just drag out from the opposite edge and just zoom and use guides as needed just to give yourself extra visual cues of how when you really have that lined up. So it really is that simple. One, two, three. One, snap to the confines of the text with this double click trick here. So double click on the middle edge there to get it to, to snap in to the confines of that box, text box. Tip two, understand the relationship between alignment and letter spacing. And then tip three, just grab and drag out from the opposite edge using visual guides and zooming as needed for extra precision. Okay, so that's it. It's that easy to precisely align text inside of Canva. I hope these little text tips were helpful. And if so, feel free to give this video a like, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about my full Canva course, just check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much. See you soon.